Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about a movie I got to see. It came out in late October. It's called Jojo Rabbit. I like this movie. I enjoyed it a lot. It was written and directed by Taika Watiti, based on Christine Lunin's book, Caging Skies. It stars Roman Griffin Davis as Jojo. Scarlett Johansson is in it. Thomason McKenzie. And Taika Watiti is actually in it also. And Sam Rockwell was pretty good in it. I'm not going to put any images, no trailer, just my initial thoughts and feelings about the movie. I liked the way it was directed and filmed. I enjoyed it, and I didn't go into it with any notion of what the movie was about, although I had seen part of a trailer as I was watching things on YouTube. But I didn't even really understand the premise of what was going on. I stayed away from the internet in regards to the movie. And watching it, I could see where there's some kind of, I don't know what I'm called, controversy, but it is set in the Nazi days. And even Taika Waititi plays a, a version of Adolf Hitler. So not getting into the plot, not getting into the themes of the movie, the major ones, or any revelations and surprises. So this will be spoiler free. I enjoyed it. I was surprised by it. I found it to balance irreverence, uh, seriousness. It could be lighthearted and dark. I think it did it well. It entertained me all the way through. And the themes and the messages in the movie come through very strong. And I think that's important if you're going to make a movie like this and you're going to kind of spoof in a way the days of the Holocaust and everything to do with the Nazis. After watching it, going online, I don't see any real issues with any of the arguments people make. You want to like the movie or not, but it's not a me it's not a message it's putting out there that is in any way a hidden agenda with uh, maliciousness of any intent. So I recommend to people to watch the movie. I might do a deeper dive when it comes out on a digital copy or Blu-ray DVD when you can stop and pause the movie, analyze things a little more. But if anybody's ever thinking of watching this, I recommend it. Like I said, it has a blend of uh, able to have fun and enjoy the moments and then to really hit home some of the darker elements of the time. And there's like a play on words and images that I think as a director he's very good at. I happen to love Thor Ragnarok and I'm not uh, sure even if he's done more work as a director. And I don't know anything about the book, but a very good movie, critically entertaining. I think it, it hits its marks very well, keeps the pacing at a, uh, a good joint for people who are going to want to breathe in certain moments so it doesn't rush through things too much. Maybe a little bit of the cons is it has a little bit of confusion in it, maybe. But it's just from seeing it once, so I'm not going to hold it against it. None of, my, none of these quick thought reviews or initial thoughts on anything are going to be super critical. I want to watch things over and over to get an idea. And being able to turn on the mics without having to look for images and trailers is a bonus when things are going on in your life and you're busy. So I like to just... Uh, touch base on the initial thoughts of people are on the fence uh, thinking about seeing it is it worth seeing in the movies i say yeah i wouldn't be disappointed at all i was very entertained but definitely watch it if it comes out on streaming services and see if you'll like it i think you'll enjoy it i don't think it's a an offensive movie 
And those are basically my quick thoughts on this. I have... What else did I see that I might do? My name is Dolomite. I'll probably do a quick one on that. I watched that, which I liked. So until next time, everybody take care, and I hope to see you again.